for anything in here. There, oh, maybe up there. I don't think that's going to be a door. I don't think I could climb that. No. But I did wonder about this thing because I'm like... It seems, you know. But yeah, he's not... This guy isn't here anymore. Another puzzle with the statues. I fucking hope not, eh? Um, I think they're all facing the right way. By the look of it. It looked like they're facing the right way. There is... <coughs> Maybe up there. I'll poke my nose up there. See if that goes anywhere. <coughs> it does look like a potential puzzle though. <coughs> yeah. I don't think I can... Oh. No, I could just climb on them. I can't climb up them. It's fine. Um, but yeah, that thing... That looks to me like that's supposed to be for some reason. It's something specific kind of thing. But I can't see anything else specifically in here. I can't climb those tunnel ones. They don't generally let me. <coughs> Although. It's hanging down a fair bit. No. There's nowhere else high up here, so I'm guessing not in here. There's normally like a room. Oh, hello, what is this? Oh. Why isn't my light working? I can't get out that way. <clears throat> so, without touching the statue, as far as I could tell, there was nothing back here. So, we'll assume at the moment that he's completely done, right? So, we went that way. And that didn't take me anywhere. The only other way was, I thought, like, down, but I think that's where we came up from. But sometimes, sometimes we pass rooms and we don't find everything straight away. This was a side room. <clears throat> and I've done this a lot where I've just missed, like, a door or something, like, ridiculously easy. anything that way that could be that was dead end as well it's still closed off <clears throat> there's a split here I don't know which side we came up and they get mad at but there could have been something like the thing is even if Nick happened to defeat it it wouldn't count that way because Nick would have left and it would have said he'd completed it. Like, I'm not like the most intuitive with like puzzles and shit. So I'm not expecting to be able to figure this shit out. But yeah, as far as I can tell, I guess it's up where we were. <clears throat> and then it's something we're missing. Look, Nick's up to the uh, puzzle things anyway. I'm pretty sure there weren't any doors upstairs. <coughs> I'll just check, just in case. I know I've been up here a couple of times, but I just feel like I'm not actually like looking around properly. It'd be so funny if it's a second puzzle or some shit like that. Okay, so we got closed door. Closed door. Closed door. There's three closed doors up here, so it's not up here. Um, there isn't anything over here, is there? No. Nothing specifically saying for me to touch a turn or anything. If this has like the exit thing, like it could be just glitching. You might be right. But it's like fire exits this way and sometimes their exit signs are kind of like literal. So while it's doing that, Jesus. Can I turn these? Little... No. Okay. That's all it's stretching around the place. So my person's sanity is like rip. If that's the case, I would have to- hello. 
There's more of them down here. Did I miss something down on the ground? I probably missed something on the ground. I can shoot these things. I can spawn. They're spawning back in down here, so I'm guessing we're not done. My butterfly is going to do most of this work, to be fair. There's a lot of them back in here. If these things do spawn them, I know that. Then maybe we had to get rid of them. I love how this just brings them in. It's great. Those ones are gone. Just a couple of these left. We have had insufficient. My deviant's going back. That is an attackable. That is. It's really interesting because, like, you know, we're not like the first people going through here, but this is our first time going through here, you know. And from like our perspective, without like googling our whole way through this game, it is interesting that it's like even if you're a seasoned gamer. Nick picks up on this shit a lot faster than I do because obviously he plays more games like this. Right. But like, it still takes us a bit. And I kind of like that because it's like, yeah, it's not just super easy. You know? I don't know if these are all respawning. I feel like they are. Hold on, I got fire for this. Yeah, they're, they're all coming back. <clears throat> all right. So, like, it wants me to go this way. Obviously, get hurt here. <clears throat> Supposed to get hurt there. Probably. Yeah, hello. Got it. <laughs> we just missed the. I missed the fucking tunnel. <clears throat> Well, this is gonna be interesting. I should really exit my group. Here. Yes. Uh, I didn't say quit thing, did I? I said quit group. The group may boot <clears throat> you from the thing that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Really? Are you fucking serious? <clears throat> now Nick's gonna go through it. I'm gonna see everything. <clears throat> Plus, I gotta deal with that fucking puzzle again. Alright. Well, that's the thing that's happening. I reckon you guys can keep up with me if you want. I actually don't feel like I need to kill them. I don't think it's required you might be to get past. Oh, you were literally in the boss room too. I so know, I know, that's why I'm annoyed. <clears throat> I don't know. Fire will fix this. No, fire will fix this. Throw the fucking fire. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, I know where I'm supposed to be going and I don't I don't want to fight them again. I could. Don't get me wrong, I could. Some of this I probably should. I don't think that's going to open up to me until then. And this doesn't open up to me by the look of it till then. Or does it? Hold on. I gotta know. No. Okay. So I do actually have to do this room regardless of if I want or not. Yeah. I have a lot of fire still. Ah. <clears throat> um. There was another barrel here somewhere. I thought my, I thought my deviant was over here fighting. I'm off to bed. See you later. Alright. Congratulations on fucking getting through the thing twice before I even finished it once. I'm um, collectively bringing them all over here. This is great. Actually, what I should have done is I should have used my thing to pull it in 
Well, Cesario says good night. Um, I don't think Nick's in Discord anymore. What I should have done is when my ice thing works, is I should have pulled them all into the fire. Oh god. Okay, yeah, like this. Oh, come on. It was a slight... It was a slight ledge. Nick's just shaking his head at me. It's just like... I just, like, snap my fucking knees on a slight fucking drop. To be fair, that's pretty realistic. this is done. I must admit it kind of takes forever to reload the um the shoddy. Sometimes when I just want to hit them and like move on it won't let me. Nine was not what I wanted to hit. I wanted to hit my sanity gummy so then I could get in here. Which you still didn't do. Come on sanity gummy. Now I could try to keep myself alive. For some reason, some of the higher silos and monoliths and stuff really <sighs> fuck with your um your mind. You're right. I don't think you are. I think that's right. Too many. Oh my god. I didn't know that they could rotate so fucking easily. There we go. That's why I like the double barrel. It's like counterintuitive but increased reload. Plus you can always have bullets to shoot. See I often miss. So from my perspective having the um extra ammo to throw down to begin with is usually better that's why I went with an LMG as the first gun that I chose because from my perspective if I can just lay into them a little bit you know mind you that was insanely fast and I get two of these things so I guess that's a good thing I get a shovel this time all right first an axe now a shovel got it hopefully my deviant like repairs itself or loot is good it is good in a way as long as it doesn't make my person overweight and then like i can't run or i can't jump and stuff properly then that's the only problem <coughs> but yeah at least now i know like that other room isn't exactly pleasant like the thing was this section here nick cleared this out before i got through it so like you guys will actually get to see what loaded in Yes, the most dangerous weapon, the shovel. I don't know if you know how to use it. If you got one of those like good fucking military ones, I don't have any more grenades. I don't have any more grenades or flammables, which is sad. Um, but yeah, if you know how to use that shit, it's pretty good. Are they gonna spawn or what? Yeah, they are. All right, cool. But I don't think I have to fight them. I was gonna see if they did spawn. It's just like a heap of the growlers, growlers, whatever the fuck they are, just spawn. Now this, I don't actually think, oh shit, too far, I don't think I actually have to really go through here. The one with the, this guy, yes, I do, come on, come on, these guys I do, because they will slow me down and shit. <clears throat> there we go. The whole rest of this room, no, no, put that down, put it down, fuck now. Yeah, I was thinking about it before when we came through and I'm like, the fact that it had like a pathing mechanism in here just made me suspicious, you know? But this is where I was supposed to be. Go back here pretty quickly. I think I'm mostly fine. I'm going to get the gummy thing in my liquid armor. Alright. So all I had to do was jump inside this room and it would have started. I had to have hit quit team because I didn't realize it was going to quit me out of the fucking dungeon. Guys shouldn't be too bad. 
It's just, to me, he's one of those, like, big versions, you know? Well, actually, he's, like, the same size as the generic Siren, you know? God, I love that that just draws them all in. It's fantastic. No, no, no. No, no, give me that. There we go. Look, it blew itself up. That's fine. I had to reload. I reckon I could probably do this with the, uh this thing. First things first, I'm gonna get this. Get off me mate. I have plans for the barrel. Ugh. Not directly on me. Jesus. This stuff is so hard to walk through. Alright. Oh shit. He kind of moves around pretty quick, I'll say that. I just remember these things, like, the sooner you take down their legs and shit, the sooner they fall over. There is a lot of things in here, like, even if I've got my Deviant out, it's not going to help me at this point. Unfortunately. I'd rather get up here and do some fighting. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad. Alright, just for the sake of it, because there's a lot of me now. Let's see if I can get you to, like, combine up on the one guy. Okay, it's kind of working. Oh, Jesus, he can jump. I'll be honest, I was not ready for that. It's not like he really hurt me or anything, but like, I just wasn't... I didn't think he could. Where is he? There he is. Honestly, compared to the level 60 thing, this is not that bad. I could get rid of the spawners and it would help. I need to reload. Every time I have to jump on something, she stops reloading. Oh, Jesus. Some health. Heal! She does not want to heal. <clears throat> Where are you, mate? There you are. Oh, your foot. There's a lot of things in front of me at once, then. Yeah, he's down. Nice. I wasn't gonna use this gun for it. I wanted this one. Not for any specific reason other than I thought I could, like, fire faster. There we go. Jesus. New cradle override node unlocked. Nice. Be all my cradles unlocked. Oh yeah. I wonder what quick comeback and stuff is. Nice. Now I can get all the crates and shit in here. What if I can go back away? There, yeah, that way. Okay, so at least that wasn't too bad. I just kind of wish that, like, considering how close I was to it in the beginning, I just kind of wish that I hadn't hit the, uh, leave team and get booted out of the fucking thing. Because, like, obviously when Nick left the dungeon, it automatically just went, yeah, he's not getting any more stuff, there's no more stuff allocated for him, that's fine. But then I didn't consider the fact that, like, it would just do that to me too, if I clicked on something. This should be almost everything. Yeah, there's nothing else like special in here. It's just like little crap. Oh no, there's one box over there I didn't see. I, I don't mind like taking the time to get the extra loot in here. Because from my perspective, like this shit should be good. But it should be, right? And I got some more ballistic stuff. Little fruit stuff. Alright. Yeah, let's see the dungeon. Solo showdown. Jesus. If I don't think I went down in that. If I didn't go down, I wonder if that counted for one of the um there is certain challenges that they have in the season goals, which says, oh, if you could complete this without going down, you get whatever. I don't know if it's taking me all the way back outside. It looks like I'm still in here. What the fuck? 
Beat the enemy in the boss zone. Oh, I was just in the boss zone. I'm not doing it again. It either did it or it didn't. If if it's just my game being ultra glitchy tonight, I can deal with that. I could do this shit again on the weekend sometime and record it offline. Like we've all seen it now. Switch by a nearby channel. All right. Can you tell me if I finish? I finished it apparently. It was easy. Uh, hello. Peter's sake, and so you're the kid who posted the commission. That's right, Mister. My name's Peter, and I. I don't know what to say, but mommy told me I should always say thank you when someone helps me. Thank you, mister. Thank you. <coughs> now I can finally go back. Yes, yes. Very nice. We get the gist. Now get out of here, Brad. And please, take this headache with you. Yeah, no, I'm not going to say that sentence because I kind of agree with him. <laughs> oh, don't you look down on me from that high horse. If you only had some idea of what my head feels like right now. I felt the reward was a bit meager, so I added some extra as a token of my thanks. I hope you find it satisfactory. Alright. Uh, so you only get a panya thing for that, that's fine. Um... I think you're having some issues with 1.1 rolling out. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I did try to, like, the, the whole point I hopped in earlier tonight to, like, have a bit of a play and stuff was I really just wanted to see how well the game would actually go. Not near a teleporter. I can beat, though. Um, because, like, my biggest thing is, like, yeah, okay, my game is a bit slower than next to load. Generally speaking, I, um... <clears throat> I'm more likely to have like something fuck up because I stream, right? So if something is gonna go wrong, it's gonna go wrong spectacularly, right? Like I don't care too much for lag, it's fine. I don't really care too much for like if things aren't just like automatically picking up if it's doing it or not. Like it's frustrating if it didn't work, I would have had to have done it again. But I didn't really think it was uh, that big of an issue. Um, like. As I said, like with doing like the monoliths and stuff. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, I'll write it like this if it lets me. I'll, I'll do it. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Let's go up the hill. <laughs> um, yeah, look, I, I just kind of figure like the level 50 and the level 60, because I think Nick's gone into level 50 with the group before. That's why he said it's a really long dungeon. It takes like an hour or something to do. And the other one that we were in was also taking quite a while as well. But um, like I have no real problem if I like do that on the weekend. Like it would be no different than right now. It's just there wouldn't be any kind of commentary and you guys would be seeing it live. That's all it would be. But it would be available on YouTube. So if I choose to do that, it'll be there. But, like, I've I've given a fucking crack, so I honestly don't mind if I don't get that. I would like to get at least, you know, the, the big long one that I haven't been into yet. I'd like to at least record that. But, um, yeah, I'm not too phased about it because I'm like, I understand I'll probably need to go with a group of people, like uh, probably just a group of randoms. And going with randoms can sometimes mean that, well, they they don't necessarily know or care that I'm – on stream and so therefore there's like potential issues where if it's voice to chat they might say something that could probably get me like banned or if it's a text like you know if they're like typing in chat and stuff like that in the uh dungeon and stuff like you know whatever they say like I, I'm pretty sure most of it would get censored and shit anyway but I don't like generally risking that this is part of why I don't really play with other people much like unless I actually know them and shit but even then, like, I most certainly play with, like, Nick family and friends and shit. Because, like, they all know that this is this is important. And, like, not to, like, risk fucking it up. I'm going to see if I can find this Ronald guy just quickly. Because, like, he should be... I don't know if he's inside or outside. But I'm just going to see if I can find him before I go back to base. Oh, yeah, there is a way in here. 
Ah, uh, it must be outside. Let's move while I sleep. No, if I can. You having dreams? Hopefully they're nice ones. A silent place is tracked. I was kind of expecting something to happen here. That was weird. Yes, yeah, so basically that was the one that we were trying to do. And it's actually level 60 inside, which is rip. False advertising. Awesome, interesting fucking one though. And this thing. <coughs> Sorry. Nick reckons is quite a long one to do. So, yeah, I'll probably have to do those <coughs> off stream and see how I go collecting it. But there's only like the smallest couple of like go and find some clothing and then uh, take it back to Henry and stuff. And yeah, and there's just a couple of ones like that left. And I don't think that they're too huge uh, sort of quest situation. I might actually leave my purse up here instead of taking it home because they're just there. I know it's only like one. It's a lot earlier than usual, but I'm going to end stream earlier. But obviously after I finish talking to this Ronald bloke, but I'll help you get there. Can we talk here, Mayfly? There isn't anyone nearby who can hear us. I have a secret matter to ask of you. I had no choice. Don't worry. I won't be ambushing you. Not without, not without these poor eyes, at least. <coughs> a secret? What is it? <coughs> I can need water. I have several undercover agents in Rosetta who help me smuggle out valuable goods and crucial tech. These are very rare. It's nearly time for scheduled pickup time, but my vision's getting worse. I can't handle this myself anymore. <laughs> As for subordinates, they're slowly starting to believe they don't need me anymore. If any, if things come this way, they'll eventually betray me and perhaps even murder me. Sometimes it's strangers like you, who are good rep, who are more trustworthy than my subordinates, who purely seek me out for their own gain. So I was hoping you could retrieve the goods for me. I'll be sure to compensate you generously for your help. Will you help me mayfly? Sure, leave it to me. Great, head over near uh, number 73 source extraction point and look for mud patch filled with cacti. My Rosetta Spy is over there. The secret paraphrase is where can the cypress tree seeds be found? This way they'll know I'm the one who sent you. Then they'll tell you the seed is planted in the ground along with its location. Well, now at least I have a shovel. Go and get everything back and give it to me. It's that simple. <clears throat> Just remember, if I'm not here when you return, if something unexpected happens, head to the farm north of Blackfell Fallen Zone. My safe room is over there. The only one who knows, hopefully. Neither one of us need it. Okay. So, I guess that's... Where is that taking me? Oh yeah, that takes me all the way back over there. That's not too bad. I have like four little quests left and then two big monoliths that I can't possibly get through solo. So yeah, I'll probably just do those um, offline. <laughs> 